Hi, this is Adam from Figmatic, and today I'm going to be showing you how to export your slide designs from Figma into a PDF uh, pitch deck or slide deck. And uh, to do that, we just need to install a plugin called Pitch Deck. And if you haven't already done that, you can go to the top left of your Figma app and click on the little Figma icon. And if you go to Community or Plugins uh, and search for the term Pitch Deck, so that's P-I-T-C-H-D-E-C-K, and underneath the Plugins tab, you'll see a result pop up that is called Pitch Deck Presentation Studio. And if you haven't already installed it, you can go over to the right-hand side uh, where you'll see an Install button. And if you click on that Install button, it'll change to look something like mine where it's uh, got a little check mark and says Installed next to it. So once it looks like that, then we're ready to go back to our project and export these designs into a PDF. Okay, so I'm just using a design that I made up uh, for Dieter Ramses' 10 Principles for Good Design. And all I've done here is just create uh, a whole bunch of frames uh, currently at uh, 1920 by 1080 resolution, uh, but you can make those whatever you want. And uh, what I'm just going to do is run the plugin that we just installed. So if you go to right click and then go to plugins and then just go down to Pitch Deck Presentation Studio and click on that. Um, that's just going to fire up the plugin that we just installed a moment ago. And what it's doing now is it's looking through all of our frames and it's essentially converting those into uh, slides. So Pitch Deck is going to interpret each frame as a single slide. So whatever you've got at your top level uh, of the page in terms of frames, uh, that is what uh, Pitch Deck is going to be looking for and treating each of those frames as a single slide. Okay, so now that we've got it loaded up, uh, you can see on the left here that we've got 11 slides loaded in and that matches up exactly with what we'd expect to see in our design. So we've got the 10 principles plus the intro. And the first thing you might notice is these uh, frames are actually in a different order to the ones that we can see in the plugin. And the reason for that is when you copy and paste frames in Figma when you're designing something, uh, like when I was designing this deck, Whenever I was happy with the first frame, uh, what I would do is I'd get the layout right and then I'd copy and paste the frame and it would put it next to the, the existing frame, uh, which is what I wanted. But what it also does is every time I paste a frame, it, it incrementally adds a new frame above the one that I just created. So instead of going from top to bottom, uh, Figma orders the frames from bottom to top. And knowing that that's probably going to be the case for you as well, uh, I made sure that the Pitch Deck plugin by default will simply reverse the frame order uh, as the initial load order, um, just to make it a bit easier, uh, hopefully for, for you designing your deck. Um, however, if you haven't done it that way, or if you just simply want to reorder the deck, uh, you can do that by clicking and dragging on any of these little handles uh, on the left here next to any of these slides and you can see there I've just dragged uh, that up to the top and then I let go and that'll re reorder the frame for me. Um, so I'll, I'll give you an example of exporting from Figma to PDF uh, and then I'll reorder the frames and show you what that looks like uh, if I want to save it out again just so you can get a bit of an idea of, of what that looks like. Um, so to export this slide deck to a PDF file uh, from Figma, all we need to do is uh, go over to the top here uh, where we've got our formats and where it says Pitch Deck URL, I'm just going to click on that and you can see we've got a few different formats here. We've got our Pitch Deck URL, which is the default format, and then underneath the static group we've got PDF file, PowerPoint file, Keynote file, and of course for this presentation uh, of this tutorial, we just want to select PDF file. And uh, I think it's just worth touching on, you've, you've probably noticed that these slides are animating when I was changing the, the slides. And uh, the reason for that is uh, over here in the right hand side, we do have access to all the elements inside of our frames, inside of our slides. And uh, we can actually apply animations to each of those. So I've already done that and uh, Pitch Deck has saved those animation settings for me. However, because we're exporting to a PDF file, 
Uh, PDF does not uh, support any sort of animation. It's, it's totally flat. Um, exporting this deck to a PDF just means we probably want to send it to either a uh, stakeholder or email it to somebody or maybe get somebody to review the deck content itself. Um, there's a variety of reasons why you might want a PDF deck or just ease of use. Um, but it's worth noting that these animations only get applied to the pitch deck URL uh, export format. And uh, I won't be covering that in this tutorial, but if you are interested in that, I've got another tutorial up on the Figmatic YouTube channel, uh, which goes for about half an hour, and it does a really deep dive into uh, exactly how those, all this animation stuff works. And then it shows you how to export that to a presentation URL. And then it gives you a, a complete demo of what that actually looks like um, when you export it. And you can do all sorts of cool things like use your phone as a remote control. You can use laser pointers. You get all your slide notes in there. Uh, it's pretty neat. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to export your slide deck from Figma uh, to PDF. So let's do that now. So I've selected the PDF file format and the buttons changed to say export PDF. So I'm gonna click on that now. And what that is going to do is it's going to uh, take all these frames, it's gonna look at the order that we put them in, and it's going to uh, convert all of those into a single uh, merged PDF deck um, with all of these frames in it. And this deck is gonna be compressed as well. So a typical PDF from Figma uh, can be quite large, um, but we're going to be exporting it through Pitch Deck, which actually shrinks the size uh, and keeps the quality. Um, so we've, we've got it ready now. It's telling us that our PDF file is ready. We can save the generated PDF to the computer now. So we've got a save dialog that's just popped up. Uh, by default, it uses the document name. So whatever you've called your Figma project, uh, that will get auto-populated in the save field. Uh, with today's date as well, date and time, just in case you're exporting a bunch of these and need to timestamp them. Uh, of course, you can remove that. So if you wanted to remove that, you can simply do that there. Um, so I'm just gonna export that and I'll just do original at the end, just add a little bit of a version to it. And then when you're ready with that, you can click on save. So I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. And if I go to my desktop now in the finder window, you can see here that it's saved to my desktop as Dita Rams slides example original.pdf. And uh, in this case, I'm just gonna use the space bar to open that up and that'll open up the Mac preview for this PDF. And you can see here, it's, it's, uh, it's rendered it out beautifully. This is all vector uh, text. We've got our image looking very nice um, and I can click through that or slide through it. And all of our slides are here uh, as you'd expect and it's looking really, really nice. Um, we can of course also open that up in preview, uh, the full one, but for now I'm just gonna use the kind of miniature uh, iOS preview just to navigate through. So you can go up and down on that. Um, but of course you could also open this up full screen and, and use it as an actual presentation too, uh, which would be pretty neat. Okay, so I'm just gonna minimize that again. And as mentioned, I'm gonna relaunch it and reorder those frames and see what that looks like. Um, so to relaunch the plugin, you don't need to right click and go to plugins again. Once you've run it once in a project, uh, if you go over to the right hand side of the Figma uh, window, you'll see a little column with the title called plugin. And if you look for the little pancake icon with the word pitch deck next to it and click on that, uh, clicking on that will immediately rerun the plugin uh, without you having to go into the right click menu again and browsing for that plugin, um, especially if you have a lot of plugins that can uh, take some time. So that's the, the easiest way to relaunch it is just on the side there. Okay, so it's opened it back up. Um, it's currently uh, reloading the frames. So it's doing this because uh, you may have made some changes to, to your frames. Um, if you have made changes to the frames while the plugin's already open, this little refresh icon here will actually uh, also refresh these, these frames and refresh the slides um, and get a fresh copy of all the, all the positioning and all the images and text. Um, but while it's running, it'll keep a uh, sort of a cached version of it so you don't have to keep going back and forth and uh, refreshing it every time um, just to make usual changes. Okay, so now that we've uh, tried exporting the deck with the default ordering, 
Uh, I'm just going to quickly show you how to change that ordering and get a different export order for your PDF file, uh, PDF deck um, in Figma. So I'm going to leave the intro the same. This is a bit of a weird deck to reorder because the slides already have numbers on them. But let's just say for, for argument's sake that uh, number two should actually be much further down. And actually number nine, principle nine, we want to actually bring up to the top for some reason. And we also want to bring principle 10 up to the top. And, uh, and maybe even move the intro underneath that. So now we've got some very strange ordering where seemingly the last slide is the first one followed by the intro and then uh, kind of just goes a bit all over the place. Um, but that's the ordering that we want. Maybe we've got a crazy art director who wants to go a bit um, a bit Pulp Fiction with it and rearrange all the, the slides. Um, so we can do that. And you can see there, it's just really, really smooth and easy to reorder those frames. And as I said before, that will not impact the ordering of your Figma file. That will remain intact. Uh, this is purely just to tell Pitch Deck what ordering you want these slides to be in. And that will get um, that will be saved between the plugins uh, running as well. So if you set this order now and close the plugin, when you reopen it, this order will stay the same. So you don't have to keep reordering it. It will remember that for you. Okay, so as before, um, to export this from Figma to a PDF, we just need to go to the export format, go down to PDF file, click on that, and export PDF has been uh, updated in the button. So if we click on that button now, exactly the same as last time, it's going to uh, go through those frames, convert them into slides, merge them into a PDF, compress the PDF, and uh, give you a really nice um, output file. And once this exports, uh, we can also have a look at that file size um, to compare that as well. So I'm just going to leave the file name default this time to show you what that looks like. So I'm just going to click Save, go back to Finder. And now you can see here uh, we've got our new PDF file where slide 10 for some reason is the first one because that's the way we wanted it, followed by the intro, followed by 9, followed by 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, and then the very last one is two, uh, as we specified before. Um, so that's looking really good. Okay, um, so as I mentioned briefly, the file size is uh, 876 kilobytes, so it's less than a, me less than a megabyte. That is uh, perfect for sending via an email or sending over Slack. Um, it's just a really lightweight uh, PDF. As I mentioned, if you export that directly from uh, Figma, uh, as a single PDF, the file size will be much, much, much bigger. Um, it's just the way that Figma um, saves PDFs by default. Um, but they've been optimized in Pitch Deck to make it uh, optimized for portability, essentially. Um, so being able to send it using a very small file size of an email or um, yeah, Slack or whatever you want to use cloud storage to, to transfer that PDF. Um, so yeah, that's our two PDFs. We've got the original one with the original order and the uh, modified order to show you how that works. But uh, both looking really, really crisp and, uh, and really nice each time. So I think if you need PDFs of your deck, then you'd be very happy with those. Okay, so this is just confirming that the PDF was saved. We don't need that anymore so we can close the plugin. And that's all there is to it. We, uh, we don't need to do anything else. Those PDFs are, are ready to go. And uh, as, as seen before, the original Figma file is completely unchanged. Um, it's still the source of truth. The ordering is still the same. Um, but we can, of course, rerun that plugin and uh, uh, see that ordering that we just saved. So I'll just do that now as, a, as kind of a last example. Uh, and then we can, we can part ways so you can try this yourself. So once again, it's just loading those uh, frames and turning them into slides inside of Pitch Deck. And once that loads, we should see all of the layers that we just had in the ordering that we just specified before closing the plugin. Um, so you can see here, now it's defaulted to 10 being the first slide, followed by 2, then 9. So it's kept our ordering from before. And again, if we wanted to re rearrange that, very, very simple. Just slide, 
click and drag and slide and those will be rearranged for you and there we go so that's back to the original order so yeah you could obviously export that again uh, but I've already got two copies of the PDF and uh, and I'm very happy with them so uh, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, if you are interested in exporting to these other formats that I mentioned before or interested in uh, the animations and how to create a an animated presentation uh, for your deck, maybe after you've done the PDF version and you want to do a bit of a fancier one, um, please check out the other tutorials that are on our YouTube channel and you'll be able to find very in-depth tutorials on how to do uh, any of these other formats as well. Um, so thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials uh, just like this one. And I hope this has helped you with uh, any problems that you've been having uh, in your team or if you've just been wondering how to export your slide decks from Figma to, um, to uh, PDF, then I hope this has helped. And, uh, and as always, you know, working with Figma being able to use it as a tool where everyone can use it as opposed to other tools um, where it's very siloed. Um, it's just awesome that you can create, uh, you know, collaborative presentations in Figma and export them to all these different, uh, different presentation formats. Um, so you basically get that uh, collaboration baked in by default. And then, yeah, this, this pitch deck plugin will really help augment that uh, collaborative pitch deck design work and and serve as a way to get it out into multiple formats um, obviously like the pdf file we just we just had a look at um, so yeah i'll leave you with that and uh, until the next time thank you again for watching and we'll speak to you again soon